Hey guys, it's Matt. Welcome to Speed Shooter. I'm going to be showing off a bundle that's appeared, which has 40 different environments across realistic and stylized, and you can redeem these keys on the Unity Asset Store directly too. And just so that you're aware, this is by a developer called Hivemind, and Hivemind have loads of realistic and stylized assets on the Unity Store, and these are all from there too. And each of these environments work in both URP and HDRP. So you can see it on the Humble page, this is the Game Dev Mega Bundle Unreal and Unity package. You can see that it has several bundles. You can see that the 40 asset bundle is around £20 or around $25. When you scroll down this page, there'll be 10 environments that you can see which are specifically for Unity. And if you scroll all the way down to the bottom, you'll see that there's also another four sound packs for Monster Sounds, Wind and Rain, Game Essentials Music and Horror as well. You, so you can use these Unreal bundles in Unity if you convert them. And I will put an asset in the description which will help you do that. And what I'm going to do in this video is I'll show you exactly what's in the bundle. We'll open up some of them in Unity and I'll show you how to redeem this and get this on the Unity Asset Store too. If you do like these videos, I hate to ask, but if you can leave a like and be sure to subscribe so you always be kept up to date when there's more great Unity content. And do be sure to check out Unity's New Year sale so you don't miss out. And check out my Patreon too because you can get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. So the first one is the modular castle and dungeons, which has loads of interiors and buildings you can enter with over 945 different meshes across castles, or fortresses, dungeons, and everything in between those different styles with photo scanned foliage and different demo scenes. The next one we've got is the post-apocalyptic town, which loads of interior buildings with bikes, interiors, town packs, all with modular assets, whether you want to make this sci-fi, and this has over 200 meshes in this modular kit. There's a different bar area, screen shaders, to have animated and futuristic touches to anything that you have. The next one is the Stylized Nature, which has over 150 semi-stylized assets in an Asian sort of landscape, all with custom foliage, diverse plant life, a brand new terrain kit with full LODs, smart materials, and so much more in there. Then we've got the Abandoned Factory, which is a fully modular asset pack, with blood effects, vertex painting, and around a hundred models and different meshes in this style. We've got the modular destroyed buildings, which is over 300 different meshes to create an endless array of destroyed beautiful buildings. There's a bunch of pre-made buildings, detailed destruction effects, bunch of textures and assets, foliage and debris to be able to use across different scenes. It doesn't even have to be specifically destroyed. Then we've got the modular medieval village, which has 210 meshes to create a fantasy village, a realistic village or something in this medieval style with a lots of interiors, fully modular and again photo scanned foliage assets. Now we've got a slightly different one which is the modular medieval town rather than the village. So this has loads of effects, foliage, interiors and exteriors which are fully modular and this has another 200 assets that can combine with all the other medieval assets that you've already seen. Then we've got the modular medieval town docks, which is an expansion for the previous area with a big area with over 300 meshes to be able to construct dock works, water, and things for the very edge of your environment. Then we've got the modular medieval bandit camp or bandit village, depending on which way you look at it. And this has 200 meshes with the interiors and exteriors with loads of modular assets with this beautiful style. And we've got the modular dark fantasy graveyard, which could be a cemetery and other things with a modular church kit with over 118 different models to be able to create this style. The modular medieval town, this is a slightly different stylized version, which is all modular, fully enterable with decals, visual effects, over 300 meshes in this one. This does have a day and night styled version. And then the last one in this set is the modular dungeon building kit. This has its own tunnel system to be able to create various props, jails, skeletons, and everything within there. You can have focal points to increase player immersion, and it's got over 100 unique assets and a visual effects library, including the angel of death effects, candle effects, smoke, and other things that are included in this package. Now, I thought I'd quickly take a look at one of these assets, which is the modular castle and dungeons, because this is one of the bigger packs with 900 assets. So what I'll do is I'll open this up in Unity 6 so you can get an idea of what's in the package. So you can see here that the modular castle and dungeons and the package manager is around six gigabytes. So I will download this and see you in uh, 12 months. So with that downloaded, I'll just click import. I'm going to import this into a URP project. 
Now you'll see all the assets that you can import here, just hit import. Then once you've actually imported this in, you need to open up the hive mind and go to the asset eternal mists. And if you open URP, you see that you need to actually run this URP version because this will import all the URP assets specifically. And if you want to use HDRP, you'll have to run that one in turn. Now, you may well find the art and the assets in the HDRP folder, but do be aware they will run in URP like in this scene here. You can check out the two scenes where you can see the asset pack here with a demo that's built out. And if you open one of these scenes, you can check out the demo. You can remove the fog if you don't want to see it, if you want to just check out all the assets that are in the area. What I like to do is just open it up and I like to just hold right click and you can zoom around and have a little look at the environments. This lighting's not fully set up and running correctly, but you just get an idea of the assets that are in here. You can choose to download the 4K textures via the link if that's important to you, but you can see here that in the art and the meshes, we do have a prefabs folder. And within the prefabs, you can cycle through everything we've got here. They all do include versions of LODs. We've got archways, domes, different wall pieces, and loads and loads and loads of modular segments, which almost go on forever, which you can create these different castle battlements and broken stone styles. So let me show you how to get hold of this bundle. If you're confused, you can choose whichever bundle of item, but I'm going to get the faulty bundle. Make sure you choose the minimum that's allowed. I'm going to head to checkout and then just pay and check out. Once you've done that, you can click to get your software. You'll have various different reveal codes for the Unreal Engine. You can see here where it says modular medieval town. You can see that this key redeems all the content of the $25 tier on the Unity Asset Store. If you do want any of the sound effects packs, you can download them directly from Humble, whether it's the direct link or using a torrent to do that. You can click to reveal your key and you'll get your key for the Unity Asset Store and you can click on the redemption instructions to redeem here. It will open up in a brand new link. Make sure that you're signed into your Unity account and it says on this page that if you've got a Humble Bundle, redeem it here. You can see that to redeem the bundle, you can click on redeem code just slightly down the page and this will take you directly to your Unity account login. With your key selected, you can paste it in here and then when you redeem your code, you can see all 12 items with a single C added. You can choose your organization and you can redeem the code and you make sure that you take it to agree to the terms and conditions. You can then head over to make sure you click on your account and choose my assets and you'll be able to see in your list all the different environments that you might want to use. So I hope you find this package useful. I'll put all the links down below so you can check them out. And do be sure to check out Unity's New Year sale at this very moment. And check out my Patreon too to get over 225 different scripts, assets and projects you cannot find anywhere else. Big thank you to all my patrons. A massive thank you to Peter Steiner, Vera Schuther, Jennifer and David for their amazing support. And thank you to everybody else who comes to watch the video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Cheers.